and another one called signal among others um kenyans have embraced um you know keeping in touch sharing information and even planning their events through uh, social media organizations also are using social media all these platforms to market their brands and also to communicate to their customers and clientele social programs like social events funerals weddings and so forth are also taking place in this space however chair the huge um, and perhaps before i go to the however bit it is also important to uh, just also say from where we stand the the commercial and economic value presented by social media platforms including tiktok is immeasurable it is huge expansive and tra transformative i will not belabor the committee because they as honorable members know that there are people making a huge fortune through the content that they create and control on social media platforms including tiktok huge amounts of money which the finest architects engineers lawyers doctors will never make that amount of money content creation and content control on social media platforms including tiktoks so we are looking at a, a, an economic an emerging economic sector which both the technology around it and the business commercial and economic potential it is creating will underpin the fourth industrial revolution and the future of the economics of the world and that is the reality however mr chairman and members despite these immense opportunities in business commerce economics communications connectivity and efficiency in the way we do things the social media space including tiktok presents grave dangers to the world and to our society today no part of the world is immune from the risks that this space and this platform poses to our way of life to the social fabric and even public safety and security of the people of the world honorable chair this platform including all the actually all the social platform the social media platforms including tiktok now have become a possible and and real not really a possible but a real um a, a real theater for misuse by criminals to endanger public safety and security tiktok and other social media platforms are increasingly being used to spread malicious content which is illegal unlawful and a violation of fundamental rights and freedoms chair and members TikTok and other social media platforms are increasingly being used to also generate propaganda including propaganda for war terrorist groups including the famous the famous ones in our corner Al Shabab and others are using social media platforms including TikTok to generate propaganda for war 
and also to generate um, the propaganda to advance ide the ideology of terror and so forth and so on, including um, real or even concocted terrorist activities that are posted on these platforms uh, to spread fear to communities, to populations about the invincibility of the terrorist organizations. And it's happening across the world. A major platform for propaganda for war, but also uh, malicious and unlawful content uh, in this space. Chair, this space is also being used to steal, hijack, and control popular accounts. If a person is a popular account holder of a TikTok account, they risk hijack, control, um, and hacking of their accounts. And this has presented security managers around the world with tremendous law enforcement challenges. Uh, the stealing of uh, personal accounts, hijacking them. Some even ask for ransom as a way of uh, releasing their accounts back to their owners. This hijacking and uh, stealing of accounts also has embarrassed public officials, celebrities, high-profile individuals, including business people and high net worth individuals. This space of social media, including the TikTok space, is also being used to dupe the people of Kenya and the people of the world into fake and unlawful commercial transactions, including luring the people of Kenya and the people of the world to fake foreign exchange trade business opportunities, fake job recruitment um, programs that end up conning members of the public in Kenya and across the world. The biggest challenge, however, is on the violation of uh, the privacy and dignity of the people of Kenya through the use of this space to generate offensive sexual content, including spreading pornographic material and also exposing children to porno pornographic content and unlawful, inappropriate sexual content content. This TikTok space and other social media spaces and platforms have been used to post intimate images, especially through the live feature. The live feature of TikTok is being used as a platform of circulating offensive intimate images some of it maliciously posted there, some of it deliberately posted there, and this has exposed especially our children into early exposure to destructive um, content in the pornographic and sexual space. These risks, as I have enumerated them, chair and members pose severe distress in our society. The risks pose severe social distress to users of TikTok. It also exposes minors to inappropriate content and also promote social discord, uh, disc, uh, discord uh, for the reasons which I have explained. What is the government doing about this?
chair and members um, we have one of the most robust data management and data control laws anywhere in the world and if anybody doubted uh, the modernity and the the sophistication of our legal regime they will see how for example we reacted to the world coin matter uh, and and therefore what we need to do besides the proposed um, adjustments of the existing law is actually to enforce the existing law if it is well enforced we have a very robust legal system and therefore the current law which is the data protection act of 2019 as supplemented by the data protection regulations require data controllers and data processors including now TikTok because TikTok falls in the category of data controllers and data processors they are required under the laws of our country to comply with various compliance obligations under the data protection act and the data protection regulations the compliance uh, regulation uh, requirements include implementing data protection uh, deliberately and this includes implementing the data protection principles in an effective manner integrating and implementing appropriate technical and organizational measures to protect personal data and register and they are also required to register as data controllers or data processors with the office of the data protection commissioner we as government also through the office of the data protection commissioner have contacted TikTok the government of Kenya is in contact with TikTok and we have raised concerns relating to the way TikTok is processing their data um, related activities in particular the government of Kenya has requested from the owners and operators of TikTok to provide to us the levels of compliance with our laws namely the data protection act and the data protection regulations we have also asked them to explain to us the measures that they are taking or they intend to take to ensure the privacy of individuals is respected in accordance with the laws of our country at the moment we are not satisfied that there is compliance we are waiting for the explanation from tiktok we as government has also have also requested or required tiktok to demonstrate to us their compliance with the requirements of uh, of all the laws of Kenya relating to data protection we have also required them to provide details of the effectiveness and the effectiveness of age and verification and content filtering processes if at all they have any uh, age verification and content filtering filtering uh, procedures as they run that platform we have also asked them chair and members to tell us uh, what they are doing to implement kenya specific supplemental terms in the privacy policy considering the provisions of our laws in other words we have asked them how they are customizing their data processing in the tiktok platform to comply with the law 
of our country. The government has also required TikTok to demonstrate full compliance and it's only after that demonstration that we'll also require them to register with the Office of uh, Data Commissioner of the Republic of Kenya as data controllers and data processors going forward. Thank you, Honorable Chair and members. Um, uh, th th thank you, Chair.